Hello, welcome to another video by LSX Engines, Tuning, and Marine. In this video, I'm showing a Mercruiser V8 exhaust manifold. This is one that was taken off of a recent uh, 5.7 liter V8 engine. And uh, the customer bought new manifolds because this one, this one was too rusted to continue to use. And uh, actually the other side uh, looks even worse, but um, so anyway, we bought new, or he bought new Sierra manifolds I put on his engine, and I ran into a problem. So, if you'll notice, right through here is a little indentation on this manifold. It's a little dip right there. There's one there, there's one there, there's one there, and there's one there. So I'll give you one guess what those indentations are for. Yep, you guessed it. They're for the, to clear the spark plugs. So... The spark plug would sit right here, there, there, and there. So the problem I ran into is the new Sierra exhaust manifolds do not have these indentations. So I can't even get a spark plug wrench on the spark plug to tighten the uh, spark plug in the hole. The spark plug does fit in the hole. There might be, um, le there's less than a quarter inch, it might be an eighth of an inch clearance between the spark plug tip and the underside of the cast iron manifold with the Sierra manifolds. So that's something you got to watch out for. So, um, because the plugs are the, the plugs I'm using are AC Delco, um, I'll say MR43 LTS, and that's what uh, the manual calls for. But uh, I've heard, or I think I read somewhere that you, know, you can buy a shorter spark plug that will fit in there and uh, clear the. If you'll notice, you've got a little bit of space. Let's see if we turn this thing up. See how the, the manifold sits off the cylinder head a little bit? You've got a little bit of space to get in there uh, if you can get a shorter spark plug and uh, get a wrench in there on it. So um, that's what I'm trying to do. I'm gonna do the research and see if I can find a shorter spark plug to fit with these Sierra manifolds. So that's a problem you need to watch out for. And um, especially if you're switching from Mercruiser to some aftermarket manifold. In this video, I'm showing a uh, aftermarket Sierra exhaust manifold, and I'm trying to see how much clearance I have between the spark plug tip and the, the manifold. So um, it's hard to get a spark plug wrench on there. This is cylinder number one, this is cylinder number three, and I don't really see an indentation for the. You see, it's flat across there, so there's no real indentation to get to that spark plug. It just makes it really hard to get a wrench in here. Um, so that's three, there's five, and let's see what's so special about seven. So seven is right there. Okay, I see what's going on. Seven may be hard because you got this boss right here for this uh, drain. And that may be interfering with the ability to get a wrench on it. But it looks like it might not be as bad as I thought it was. So next I'm gonna try to put a spark plug uh, wire on it and see how much clearance I got to do that. All right, I just put a spark plug wire on the plug. And it looks like it has plenty of room to fit. You can see there's plenty of gap. So the problem is not the uh, that the plug is touching the manifold. It's that there's a boss right there on. So it affects cylinders one and four. It doesn't seem to be affecting. Uh, I guess it affects all of them. There's a little bit of a boss there. Anyway, I'll give it another shot. See if I can get these on here. I'll plug it right there. That's number four. You see that little piece of, the, the boss and the manifold sticking just a little bit down, so it's hard to get a wrench on this spark plug. Uh, but actually, I, number three is the one I broke yesterday, so um, I'm gonna have to give this another try and see what's going on. I need to put a wrench on it and put the camera down here and see what's happening. But um, the wrench doesn't seem to wanna go on the plug, spark plug because it's hitting the, it's hitting the manifold right up right there. Right in there. So you see if we go straight on, I don't have much clearance between the wrench 
going straight on. I don't have much clear between the wrench and the spark plug. Right, see right there. So that's the problem. I just may need a special uh, spark plug wrench so I can come in right, come in from this direction, come in from the side, kind of like a closed-in wrench, box-in wrench, but. Uh, with more of a depth to the wrench because it's hard to get that wrench down in the recess. But I'll figure something out. So this problem is not as bad as I thought. There's room for the plug wire, there's room for the plug, there's just not room for a wrench to go straight on the plug. So I can, I can fix that pretty easily. Alright, not as big an issue as I thought, so I'll keep working on it uh, tomorrow and get this figured out. Continuing with the issue with the uh, spark plugs on this 5.7 liter Mercruiser. Um, I broke two plugs trying to put them in. Uh, you can see the, see so you can find the cracks here. So that one is, you know, look right there. You can see it cracked right there. That's the cracked insulator. So we get you a better view of it. This phone's, this phone's having a hard time focusing on it. Anyway, that's one and then I cracked another. And it is right, it runs, the crack runs right up through the left side of the R, if you can see it. And it curves up through the C and it curves to the left. So I cracked two insulators. Um, and I thought the solution to this problem was uh, to buy an offset wrench. This is a 5H, uh, 5H offset, it's called an offset box in wrench. It worked on number seven on the back. Uh, back side of this engine, but I could not get this wrench down here on number two or four. Too much stuff in the way. So I realized I, there's no way to do that other with a socket. And uh, my socket wasn't working. My socket was cracking the insulator. And I figured out what happened. So this is a uh, spark plug wrench or spark plug socket, a 5 8 spark plug socket. And on this end, it had flats. It had a hexagon flats for, uh, I believe it was 11 16 wrench. And I realized that what was happening was that the reason I was able to get the socket on the spark plug in the first place is because if, if the flat was against the uh, manifold, the exhaust manifold, it would fit. But as soon as I rotated it and it hit the high points of the flats or the high points of the hex and I put any pressure on it, it would crack the insulator. It would bend the tip of the spark plug and break the insulator. So, because um, I got in there and looked and, and looked close to see what was hitting and I realized that was what was doing it. So, I took an angle grinder and I ground all the points off this hex to make it almost round. You see what I did there? So, um, ground all the ground all six points off this hex down to where it's almost perfectly round, and that did the trick. So once I put it in now, this part would not touch the manifold, or if it did, it was just round, you know, just barely touching, and didn't put any pressure on the spark plugs. And I was able to get all eight of them in with this tool. So sometimes you have to improvise and uh, make your own tools, or, or you might say destroy a tool to make a tool, but uh, this will be a tool that goes in my marine toolbox for the rest of my life. So that was the solution to the plug problem. Um, I kind of made it out bigger than it was. It's been two days since I last worked on this engine because of this plug problem. I had to go chase. I thought I, uh, I'd read a long time ago that some manifolds require a shorter plug, and I went off on a goose chase, chasing down smaller plugs. NGKs I thought were the right ones, but never could find, never could find shorter plugs. So um, I, when I bought the offset wrench, came back in and tried that. It worked, but it didn't work on some of them. And that's when I studied a little bit harder and ran, figured out that I could use a, a basically a solid off socket. So the plugs are now in. Um, this video is going to be a sub video of a bigger vid video series called uh, Engine Install A to Z. I, I just did this spark plug sideshow just because I didn't want to make the, the main video longer. So if you were if you were directed from that video to here, thanks for watching and um, maybe learn something how to put spark plugs in a marine engine. Uh, as I was saying earlier, the marine the uh, Mercury marine exhaust manifolds have an indentation. I don't think you have a problem with those. And these are Sierra manifolds, and you, you need to have a, you're going to have to take your socket and, and modify it to make it work. So again, thanks for watching. Subscribe to my channel if you enjoy the videos and uh, find them useful. And turn on your notifications because I'm putting out a lot more lately. Thanks for watching.